Hey folks, this is old Texas Paul. We had a Nazi have a meltdown up in SeaTac Airport, up in Seattle. Let's talk about it. If you haven't seen the video, here, here's a short clip of it. Okay. Now the response from the left has been pretty predictable. You know, our folks are are uh, you know they're decent people. They're they're all saying, "Hey, I hope he's crazy. I hope he gets the medical attention he deserves." And yada 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 yada. But I I, I got to call bullshit on that. Okay, all all national white nationalists and 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 and, and neo Nazis and all they're all crazy. They're all crazy. We can't just cop out and say, "Oh, he's crazy," therefore he can't be responsible because let me tell you this is not this guy's first arrest in 2019 he was arrested uh, for domestic assault declared incompetent released 2016 he was arrested uh, for uh, indecent assault declared incompetent released and now he's raging in an airport and I guarantee you in a couple of years he'll be killing people and, and and I tell you one of the red flags here let me show you one of the tweets he talks about pulls up this this won't trigger most people but this really got to me because I actually am a history nut I am and the history you get in school is not real history it's it's basically American propaganda history and it, there's a name here in this tweet he mentions you know Frederick the Great which anybody that's gone you know paid attention didn't sleep through history heard that name before but there's another one there called his name Heinz Guderian. Now, unless you're actually a student of history, you have no idea who Heinz Guderian is. He he and, and a Russian guy by the name of Zhukov were probably the two best generals in World War II. Now, I know that's going to shock a lot of people. We like to think that, you know, our American generals were the best, but really, Heinz Guderian, he was a, a, an elite uh, um, it came from a well-heeled background, and he was going to be a general no matter what happened in Germany. That was it. So he took that job seriously, and he became an excellent general. He was an excellent general. Uh, no Heinz Guderian, no, 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 <laughs> the Nazis would not have done what they did. They wouldn't have. So how the hell does this guy know about Heinz Guderian? Now, he considered him, considers himself to be scholarly. If you look at some of his other tweets, he, he actually wrote a 500-page crap text he calls a history book. But he's not a historian. What that tells me and where I'm getting the red flag on this one is that somebody's in his ear. Somebody with some knowledge is in his ear. You know, he's not getting this stuff one-off. And it's not just your typical propaganda that these people respond to, the Q nuts, the you know, the you know, all the violent shit and all the violent rhetoric that comes out of the out of the out of the West. Somebody with some knowledge in their head is whispering in this guy's ear. And that some bitch is dangerous. And we need to find out who he is. Because he can make thousands of the uh, Nicholas Leightonies. Thousands of them. And I'm telling you folks. That's what's so dangerous about this. Is not that that you know just one crazy guy spouted some shit off in an airport and got arrested and hauled away, and we all like to act like it's nothing more than a raindrop that hit our cheek. No, no. The these are the people that end up being our mass murderers. They hear the rhetoric out of the right and they respond to it. You know he's already made several death threats. There's, there's some more tweets here. He uh, threatened to kill Zuckerberg. He's 
raves on about Jewish people, talks about killing doctors and people who wear masks. Uh, just one thing after another after another. I mean, he's, uh, you know, hell, he even hates Donald Trump, calls Donald Trump a Jew. Yeah, because I guess it, it, he didn't like that Trump lost or something. I don't know. I don't know what's in this guy's nutball head. But folks, we can't we can't do this. We can't just shrug it off as, oh, he's crazy. But it's crazy in our society where arms are easy to get your hands on, explosives are easy to get your hands on and manufacture. Yeah, we can't just shrug off crazy. We can't. This guy's been released twice because he was declared incompetent. Because law enforcement did what everybody else did. Just, oh, he's crazy. Yeah, he's crazy till he kills a hundred people. You know, and that's where this is headed. You know, we used to have a, something we could do with these people. This is this guy's third strike on the crazy train. We used to have facilities where a judge could remand somebody like this to, and they would be held. And they wouldn't just be released. We need to seriously think about undoing the damage that Ronald Reagan did when he sucked all the funding out of that system. We do. I mean, we if we allow these things to just keep happening without some change, some repercussions, folks, we're just going to keep having these mass murders. And they don't get better. They're going to get worse as these guys get more technically and technically advanced and and. <sighs> And somebody like this, who considers himself a student, a student, yeah, these are the really dangerous folks. Because this is the kind of guy that will go out and get that kind of knowledge. Don't shake, don't, 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 don't let this just go. Call your representatives. Let, let's take some action on this. There's, there's a fantastic group that's been putting information out about this guy. They track anti-Semitic behavior. It's called StopAntiSemitism.org. Fantastic organization. Shout out to them. Uh, Tizzy Int. You know, if you're not following Tizzy, I don't know what you're doing with your life. This guy, it was his group that got the information out so fast. It's his resources. They got the information out on this guy so fast so that people like me could go back and, and do some research and, and, and look at these tweets that this guy has. I mean, they're insane, man. Insane. He's constantly talking about wanting a civil war. He's constantly talking about murdering people. He's talking about... Uh, it's just... Yeah, it's crazy, but it's dangerous. And we can't let it go. We have to start putting some skin in the game for these people. This guy doesn't need to be, you know, declared incompetent again. Therefore, he doesn't go into the system. And if we're not going to have a system to treat mental illness like this, then he needs to be locked up. You know, it's not a good choice, but it beats no repercussions. I love you, folks. We really have to start taking action on all these fronts. All these fronts we need to start taking action on. We do. So I need you to, to, to call your representative and say, hey, we need to put pressure on these folks not to just shrug this off. Nicholas Letney's dangerous. Put the word out. Say something. Do something. You've seen something. Do something. I love you folks, I really do, but the time of just enjoying life and not, not acting when we see craziness is over. Too much of it is coming home to roost. It is. So folks, I need you to act. I need you to act. Hit the subscribe button here, of course. Make sure you're subscribed to Midas Touch. We talk about this stuff. Make sure that, that you are, are 
following groups like stop antisemitism dot org. They're on Twitter. Follow them on Twitter. Follow people like Tizzy that address this stuff. But more importantly, when you find out something, act. Make phone calls. They don't take very long. They don't take very long at all. Do it, folks. I appreciate you. I love you, folks. Soul Texas Paul out. Please, watch this commercial. Buy a t-shirt. Love you, folks. It's how we pay the bills around here. Have a good day. At Midas Touch, we are unapologetically pro-democracy, and we demand justice and accountability. That's why we're spreading our message to Convict 45. That's right. Gear up right now with your Convict 45 tees and pins at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.